Hey guys, so this week I've been playing a game about foul mouth pirates swigging on whiskey and killing with skill, and that game of course is Bullet Storm! That's right, well, I mean it's right there, so you probably could have guessed that any- Anyways, uh, the big catchphrase in this game is killing with skill. No longer are you killing all willy-nilly, you gotta put some skill into that game. So, is it skillful? Is this game any good, or is it just the same crap we've been playing for like the past 20 years? Well, here's my opinion of Bullet Storm. The story of Bulletstorm involves mercenaries and trying to get revenge and crash landing on a planet and mutants and, and all this struggle, but none of that really matters. The game doesn't take the storyline too seriously, so neither should you. The only part you should really understand is that you play a wisecracking asshole who drinks a lot and shoots people. I'd tell you to ignore the storyline completely if it weren't for the voice acting. The game is filled with veteran voice actors that bring humor and some unique flair to the roles. Just two gruff, military-hardened dudes sitting in an elevator, snuggling out their woes in a totally hetero way. Uh -oh. Almost every one of the voice actors you hear, you'll think, Hey, I know that guy from this other thing. Most notably is the always talented and prolific Jennifer Hale. The video game has voice acting and has female characters. Chances are Jennifer Hale is at least one of them. I think it's like a bylaw in the voice actors union, but hey, I'm not complaining. This game takes every opportunity to go over the top. All the big, like, epic battles and cool, awesome set-piece moments are basically like someone said, Hey, Michael Bay, here's some cocaine and methamphetamine. See what you can come up with. And while in movies you need characters and plot to just drive things to otherwise people just get distracted and don't care, in video games it works really well! The game just centers around silly, over-the-top violence. And the skill shot system really highlights that fact. The concept of getting points for killing people and then using those points to buy ammo or upgrades isn't a new one. Where Bulletstorm takes the ball and runs with it, though, is that you get more points the more creative your kills are. You may only get 10 points for killing somebody just by shooting them, but if you kick him off a cliff, well then that's 20. And if you kick him into a giant cactus where he's impaled, that's even more points. And don't even get me started on kicking an explosive barrel at them, sending them in the air, and then throwing a hot dog cart at them. Skill Shots is the meat and potatoes of this game, and it's what differentiates it from all the other FPSs out there. As you get into a firefight, you're constantly looking around trying to find new and interesting ways to kill your enemy so you can get more points. And when you just shoot a guy to death, you feel like, oh, I, I missed out on an opportunity there. The Skill Shot system is what makes this game so memorable. It adds this whole level of strategy that has not really existed in FPSs before. You're not really worried about how am I going to survive this firefight, but how am I going to get the most points out of this firefight? It really forces you to think about these gunfights in a completely different way. A way which some cable news shows say might affect you negatively. Gee willikers, all that stuff looks really fun. Good thing it's worked my moral compass and I can go try it now. <laughs> Me do this. Besides the campaign mode, there's echo mode, which is basically campaign light. Same great shooting, less dialogue. In echoes, you basically are just doing five minute little firefights from the campaign. It cuts out a lot of the running and talking and all that stuff and just keeps it to the simple, hey, fight these dudes in the most creative way you can. At the end of this chunk of fighting, you get rated based on your performance and you can actually see how well you did against your friends and also people in the world. It adds some nice replay value because it's short and you want to keep coming back to see if you can't improve your score. They also added in a multiplayer mode, but instead of doing like capture the flag or team deathmatch, which don't make sense for this game, they did what did make sense for this game. The multiplayer is a cooperative shooter where you sit and fight against wave after wave of bad guys and try and survive and rack up points. You and your friends fight all the baddies and then you use your points to level up and then buy upgrades which progress into your next session. Overall, Bulletstorm is an incredibly unique entry into the FPS genre, a genre which has grown kind of stale as of late. Uh, a lot of the FPS games take themselves very seriously, but Bulletstorm does not take itself seriously at all. It has uh, crazy over-the-top violence, the characters are all sort of these over-the-top versions of what you would expect from these games, and they don't take themselves very seriously, and the skill shot system is great. It adds this sort of, it adds creativity to the FPS genre. It adds cre creativity to killing people, which is crazy. Who would have thought of that? Well, they did, and it's 
it's great. I would totally suggest if you're a huge fan of first-person shooters, this is a game you have to try at least once just to say, wow, why don't more games do this? And if you're not a fan, maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the one that sort of gets you in because it's crazy, over-the-top fun.